John Blackburn's A Scent of New Mown Hay is a gripping novel that blends science fiction with elements of horror, creating a narrative that is both chilling and thought-provoking. The story begins with an unsettling atmosphere, as a mysterious disease spreads across Eastern Europe, causing a gruesome death that turns its victims into statues. The novel's opening sets the tone for the rest of the book, creating a sense of dread that permeates every page. The protagonist, Neil Rhodes, is a scientist who is drawn into the investigation of this strange phenomenon. As he delves deeper into the mystery, Rhodes uncovers a sinister plot involving a former Nazi scientist who has created a deadly bacterium as a form of biological warfare. Blackburn uses this premise to explore themes of scientific hubris and the dangers of tampering with nature. The novel raises ethical questions about the use of science for destructive purposes, reflecting the anxieties of the Cold War era in which it was written. The setting of the novel plays a crucial role in creating its tense atmosphere. The desolate, quarantined areas of Eastern Europe, where the disease has taken hold, are described in vivid detail, evoking a sense of isolation and fear. Blackburn's descriptions of the affected villages, where death and decay have taken over, contribute to the novel's eerie mood. The contrast between these settings and the more familiar, safe environments of the characters' homes serves to heighten the sense of danger. Characterization in the novel is another strength. Neil Rhodes is portrayed as a dedicated and intelligent scientist, but also as a man haunted by the potential consequences of his discoveries. His internal conflict mirrors the broader moral dilemmas posed by the novel, as he struggles with the implications of the deadly bacterium and his role in stopping it. The antagonist, a former Nazi scientist, is a chilling embodiment of the misuse of scientific knowledge, and his motivations are rooted in a twisted ideology that adds depth to his character. The novel's pacing is deliberate, with Blackburn carefully building tension as Rhodes and his team race against time to stop the spread of the disease. The author's use of suspense is masterful, keeping the reader on edge as the full extent of the threat is gradually revealed. The climax of the novel is both thrilling and horrifying, as Rhodes confronts the scientist and the true nature of the bacterium is unveiled. Blackburn's ability to maintain suspense and surprise throughout the novel is a testament to his skill as a writer. One of the most compelling aspects of The Scent of New Mown Hay is its exploration of the moral implications of scientific discovery. Blackburn does not shy away from showing the potential for science to be used for evil purposes, and he raises important questions about the responsibilities of scientists. The novel suggests that knowledge, in the wrong hands, can be as dangerous as any weapon, and it is this theme that gives the story its lasting impact. In addition to its thematic depth, the novel also excels in its use of language. Blackburn's prose is both elegant and evocative, with descriptions that bring the story's settings and characters to life. His ability to create a sense of unease through his choice of words and imagery is particularly noteworthy, as it enhances the novel's horror elements. Overall, A Scent of New Mown Hay is a powerful and unsettling novel that combines elements of science fiction and horror to explore the dark side of scientific progress. Through its well-drawn characters, atmospheric settings, and thought-provoking themes, the novel offers a compelling commentary on the ethical dilemmas posed by scientific advancement. Blackburn's skillful storytelling and mastery of suspense make this a gripping read that continues to resonate with readers long after the final page is turned.